in the beginning. Wait, no, in the middle. Okay, say two-thirds of the way through, there was a guy named Gern. And Gern was known for playing country, folk, and old-time music, albeit louder and faster than most. And as it went, about two-thirds of the way through, there was Gern, and he was searching around to find a new band that was at this point a little louder and a little faster and a little more electric. Problem was, nobody really had the time to get into it with old Gern. So Gern kept searching until he started asking around the old-time jam at Grumpy's Bar, located at 1242 Bishop Street in Montreal. See, the problem was that there was nobody there to play the bass or the drums. Well, the way that Gern saw it, that he had never played the electric guitar, so why can't you start a band with a couple of guys who don't play the bass and then they don't play the drums? He grabbed a banjo player, and he grabbed a guitar player, and, well, the bell checks. Here they are, in a basement, up against the wall. It looked like this in the beginning. Like all bands, the bell checks started out slow and started to grow, and as they did, Gern unpacked his out-of-date pieces of his once state-of-the-art and now state-of-decay recording studio. Randall brought in some first-gen GoPros from an art project he was doing a couple of years ago, and Mike did some tweaks on Gern's guitar. The group of them cobbled together a drum kit, and right about then, well, the band just got down to it. This song's called The Bridge. When the big old bridge fell down, drop the sky and hit the ground. When the big old girl fell down, those who were crushed were drowned. Well, starting up from nothing ain't easy, and the band had a lot to learn, so they did what any group of reasonable people would do. They asked their friends to come and help. And that was the beginning of the bell checks up against the wall. pretty regular thing and the gigs came and the shows went and we built and we talked more of our friends into getting up against the wall with us. This trio of highly talented but lowly experienced lads went from 0 to 60. Okay, not 60, because, well, that's miles per hour. Well, they went from nothing to something, and they didn't do it alone. Thanks to their friends and some slightly out-of-date technology, and by the grace of the neighbors, the Veltex emerged to become the most important band in the entire world to ever play in Gern's basement in front of cameras, drinking Bose beer, 
learning from their friends. Up against the wall. Damn, I miss my baby. It's driving crazy. Working so hard. Station. 